What's good, YouTube? This is Boxing Wave, and we are back with another fight breakdown. Next weekend, Saturday, July 9th, 5.30 p.m. Eastern, on the zone, we're going to get Derek Chisora against Kubrat Pulev in their rematch, all right, which Pulev won the first fight by decision, okay? Um, I will not be doing live commentary for this fight because I'm going to be out celebrating my birthday, all right? July 10th, Sunday, July 10th is my birthday. And um, I'm not going to be doing any live commentary for the fights because I'm going to be out celebrating. All right. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this is going to be a quick breakdown. Um, you know, I've, I remember watching the first fight, you know, and I went back and watched. Um, I watched it again today and I wanted to give you a, a quick prediction video for that fight. All right. Derek Chisora. All right. 38 years of age. Uh, 39. I'm sorry. 32 wins. 12 losses. Uh, 23 wins by knockout, okay? Um, he's coming back off a few losses, two losses to Joseph Parker and a loss to uh, uh, Alexander Usyk, all right? Decision loss, all, all three decision losses, okay? He's coming off of those losses. And you got Cooper at Pulev, who lost to Anthony Joshua. He was stopped by Anthony Joshua, but then went, then, then went on to fight Jerry Forrest and uh, a, a good decision win, all right? A uh, pretty clear decision win. I didn't remember seeing that fight. And I thought Pulev looked pretty good for his age. Pulev is 41 years old. He's 6'4 and a half in height, 79-inch uh, reach. Derek Chisora, 6'1 and 74-inch uh, reach, all right? Now, look, going to this fight, all right? Both of these guys are obviously not in their prime. They're older, but they still look good. They still look good. Derek Chisora, he lost pretty much most of the big ones, all right? The big fights, the big, big, big fights. He lost some. Some were controversial. Some say he could have won against Joseph Parker in their first fight. Uh, some say that he could have won against Dillian White in their first fight, all right? Um, but he's picked up good wins in between. He beat Arthur Spilka, knocked him out. Um, he beat Price, knocked him out as well. These are recent fights. He did do good against Alexander Usyk in their fight too. Even though Usyk won clear decision, he gave uh, Usyk a good run. It was a good fight, and it was very, very competitive. Okay, um, so he's still in the game, you know. And I feel like with Derek Chisora, I feel like he's always like one loss away from probably retiring. You know, I mean, he's he, he's been through a lot. All right, but most of the time when he does lose this, it's by decision, right? He doesn't get knocked out often. He's been hurt, he's been down, but he's always been a warrior. He's one of my personal favorite fighters to watch because he always gives us a good fight. No one really ever really beaten him easily, at least not that many people have. All right, so he's always in it, and you can never sleep on him because he has knockout power. He he's he's a good pressure fighter. All right, he's a warrior. He has a lot of heart. And he gives he he gives it his all in just about every single fight. All right, um, and then you have Cooper Pulev who had went to uh, he lost to Joshua, um, pretty fairly competitive fight for the most part. Joshua won pretty clear, right? Score knockdowns was able to uh, was able to stop him, um, but he went on in, to the thriller side. All right, uh, fought Frank Mir in the MMA crossover fight. All right, boxing crossover fight. Um, destroyed him, which wasn't surprising. Frank Mir is way past. I mean, I mean, I remember watching him when I was like, you know, a young or, you know, a young, a very young adult. Um, and um, he destroyed him. And Jerry Forrest, who's a pretty solid fighter, you know, has, has he has his losses, but he's always looked good, even in defeat. And uh, Pulev was able to do very well against him. And he's still been able to stay active, which is good. He's still in good shape. And um, this fight is going to be next week. All right, so let's talk about it. Like, look, Pulev won the first fight. And when you watch the first fight, it, it, it's pretty simple. Chisora put the pressure on, was throwing the harder, heavier shots, attacked the body very well in the fight. Um, but the thing was, Chisora, a lot of haymakers, a lot of looping, wide shots. All right, um, Pulev did a good job at defending himself, um, keeping the high guard very tight, and um, just defending his upper body, all right, his head. And um, 
he did a great job using his jab. He has a great jab. He's always had one of the better jabs in heavyweight division and was good with his timing and, and keeping Jazora at, you know, outside of range. You know, he's taller. He knows how to use range. He knows how to use that reach advantage that he has. And he's good at timing the right hand. He has a very, very good one, too. OK, um, Chisora, on the other hand, he did a good job, like I said, attacking a body. But most of his inside work got smothered, you know. Kubrat would just tie up with him every single time. Chisora would get on the inside and try to work. And he just kept, you know, just doing a better work on the outside using that jab. And Chisora, and just outscoring Chisora. You know, Chisora tried to be very physical, try to rough him up. The typical Chisora that we would ever we would get with every fight. But it just wasn't enough. And um, Pulev just outboxed him. It's, it's really simple. We've seen it before in Chisora fights. You know, he's not the tallest heavyweight by today's standards. He's not that tall. Um, you know, he doesn't have the, he's not the greatest athletic fighter or anything like that. He's more like a rough, rugged, come forward, throw a lot of punches, throw a lot of heavy shots type of fighter. You know what I'm saying? And he got outscored. He got outpointed. He got outboxed. Okay, so in the rematch, going in a fight, what I think Chisora needs to do this time around, I think he still needs to attack the body just as much as he was doing in the first fight because he had a lot of success. The body was pretty much exposed, all right, of Pulev because he had that high guard and Chisora worked the body. Didn't really, wasn't able to really hurt Pulev with the body shots. Pulev took the shots to the body extremely well. He's definitely not weak to the body because Chisora was hammering his body from the outside the entire fight. You know, hooks, jabs, everything all night long. He just couldn't connect clean with a really big shot. Fights, uh, shots that he landed against Spilka, like he landed against Price and other fighters like Dillian White in the past. He just wasn't able to connect in that fight with something heavy enough to hurt Pulev. Pulev has lost twice, once to uh, Klitschko, once to Joshua. Um, he's caught some heavy shots from, I mean, both of them are big punchers. He took big, he took big shots from them and their fights, and he was able to get knocked out in both of those fights. But Chisora just could not connect with the heavy, heavy shot. And Pulev was able to take whatever Chisora was able to dish out in their fight. So I think in this time around and continue to attack the body. Okay. But this time step in when you're stepping in, step in, he needs to step in with the combinations Use the uppercut. Get that uppercut through the guard, all right? Use the upper, uppercut. Throw the left hook behind the uppercut. Do things that's going to... You got to get around the card. You got to break the guard, you know? Punch through it. Punch around it. And I feel like Shazor wasn't really doing enough of that. He was just coming in with wide hooks, looping shots continuously, and it, be, it became predictable for Pulev. He needs to land something around that guard or the uppercut. Use the combinations, but switch it up this time. It was more repetitive, repetitive punches in the entire first fight. Do good with the body. The body is exposed, like I said, but let's get some uppercuts through that guard. Let's get some hooks with and with mix it up with the combinations and punch around the guard when you're close. You want to hit this guy. I think Chisora has enough power to actually hurt him and, and, and put him down, if not stop him. He has the power to do it. We've seen it plenty of times before, but he has to do it here. Pulev, he has to do pretty much what he did in the first fight. You know, control the distance. Stay out of range, you know, of stay out of range of Chisora. You know, use that jab and snipe him from the outside. Use that one to connect with that right hand. You know, throw those chopping right hands down as he's stepping in. He's coming for you. All right. So all you got to do is move, use the jab, you know, follow it up with a right hand. And that's all you got. Use some uppercuts yourself as he's coming in. Throw some uppercuts. Try to time that uppercut in. But Pulev, not much of a body shot guy. He doesn't attack the body that much. All right. Um. You know, he doesn't throw a lot of punches. All right, he usually tries to make every punch count. He's a pretty, he's pretty accurate fighter. He's always been. Um, but stick to what you did. As soon as Trezor gets on the inside, you know, tie up, make him smother his own punches. You know, you want to smother that offense because we already know Trezor is rough on the inside. So you want to tie up, let the ref break you, and then continue where you left off on the outside, sniping him with a jab and a right hand. All right. 
Um, the way I see this fight going is pretty simple. Uh, I believe that Pulev is going to win a decision. That's going to be my prediction. I think he's going to just outscore Chisora to a decision. Um, I think the other option is Chisora winning by knockout. Okay, I think Chisora has more than enough power. And I think if he is to sneak an uppercut in there or catch him with a left hook around the guard of Pulev, he can probably get a knockout. Also, when you go into the body, go to the body, go to the body. Hit him with something, throw a loop and shot, or fake it to the body, hit him up top with it. If you can get him clean, if he can connect at some point, don't throw it often. But if you can connect with that shot at some point, you could definitely knock out Pulev. So I think it's either Chisora by knockout or Pulev by a decision. I think Pulev wins a decision based on the fact that Chisora has yet to win a rematch or look better in a rematch. Anyone that's fought him twice, Look better the second time around. Joseph Parker didn't stop him, but hurt him throughout the fight. All right. I think that Joseph Parker probably could have finished him off. But every time he had him hurt, he kind of backed off, played it safe. All right. Tyson Fury stopped him. Okay. Dillian White was able to stop him. All right. So I'm I'm picking Pulev to win a decision based on the history of Chisora fighting rematches. And plus, I think Pulev's game plan is something that he did in the first fight is something that he can do again in this fight all right so anyway that's my prediction make sure you subscribe to the channel also share the video if you can on your social social media and all that and um hit that like button hit that thumbs up if you like the video all right i'm out of here peace